Although it's more well known for its history in mining, the Copper Country also has a strong timber presence as well. ABC 10's QNR Bureau reporter Sam Ali takes an in-depth look at one of the bigger logging companies in the area to see how they are impacting the community in more ways than one. Um, a lot of these trees have been growing. It hasn't been cut for over 40 years. So Since 1968, Northern Hardwoods has been one of the premier lumber companies in the Upper Peninsula, and for good reason. They try to leave a positive impact on the economy and the environment. And don't think for a minute that weather affects their plans. Procurement forester Chad Fortin says this past winter was quite the challenge for the loggers, but the work was done. They produce a lot of timber still, a little under what we're hoping, but for the most part all the guys, they're, they're right on top of what they normally produce. Um, they put in longer hours and, and work harder, so, so they... Yeah, they did good. <laughs> so how much wood goes in and out of northern hardwoods? A typical day here, we process about 70,000 board feet of lumber. That's what the two shifts. Um, and we'll dry normally about uh, eight to 900,000 feet of that lumber a month. And <clears throat> we normally ship out about a million feet of lumber out the gate here a month. Recently, State Representative Scott Dianda announced his opposition to the deregulation of forestry in Michigan and plans to stop by Northern Hardwoods next week. General Manager John Cantala says, just like the mining industry, logging is a very important part of the community just because of how long it's been around and preserving it is key to sustaining a healthy environment. It's been here since for, for many, many years and, and um, has provided a lot of good jobs and, and a good stability in a lot of communities and I think it's, uh, it is the one renewable resource we have that I think we should really, uh, if we take care of and manage properly, we'll be here for our kids and our grandkids and, and that's important. From the forest to the mill, Northern Hardwoods works very hard to preserve the land they work on and maintain the beauty of the copper country. Um, we do selective harvest so we can, we can come back and harvest our lands, you know, every 15 to 20 years, um, and most of the bigger landowners in the area do the uh, select harvest program, which is very healthy for the forest and healthy for the outdoors uh, um, activity that goes on there and um, keeps the, ho the forest healthy so we can have a strong future on, on harvesting timber in the UP for many years to come. So whether they ship within Houghton County or overseas to China, Northern Hardwoods' prosperity will always be directly tied to the Copper Country. For ABC 10 CW5 News Now, I'm Sam Ali.